Beagles have one of the best developed senses of smell in the dog world, which is why Ranger, an employee of Care Pest Control, is so good at sniffing out bed bugs. Ranger likes books, so it's funny that we got asked to do the libraries. At Burnaby's Metro Town branch, Ranger is searching for the telltale sweet scent given off by living bed bugs and their eggs. Good boy. We use dogs because it can be very difficult to find uh, bed bugs. The big, the adults, uh, they can be quite large, but they're very smart. They're very good at hiding. They could hide in the spine. You see, there's a little gap there. They could also hide, you know, really snugly in the. You see, there's a. As you open the book, there's a little space in there. It's been a month since a single bed bug was discovered here at Burnaby's main branch. Since then, with the help of Ranger, living eggs have been found on several shelves. Good boy. We immediately removed the books, had the area steam treated, and uh, had the books treated. Since then, evidence of bed bugs has been found at Burnaby's Cameron branch. The building was closed for treatment for two days, and the suspect books removed and brought here to a concrete room where the pest will be killed simply by turning up the heat. Insects are uh, exposed to um, um, 45 degrees Celsius or more for a while, and that will kill them for sure. Dr. Grease, who studies the way bedbugs communicate at Simon Fraser University, isn't surprised that a growing number of public libraries are having to deal with infestations, considering some of their books are being taken to infested homes. So when that person then has finished the book and returns it back to the library, while the bedbugs will travel with or on that book, uh, back to the library and would start an infestation there. Bed bugs don't discriminate between squalid and high end accommodations, and they don't transmit disease. But they do, however, bite because they feed exclusively on blood. There are some 30% or so of, of within the uh, human population that will experience skin reactions to these um, bites. So they are rashes, they are allergic reactions. And Dr. Grease is one of them, which is why his wife and fellow scientist gets the job of feeding them. And you feel they bite you, but it's not hurting. But in maybe tomorrow or the day after, it will be more itchy. Back at the Metro Town branch, more books were coming off the shelves today, this time in the children's section, where Ranger discovered more evidence of bed bugs last night. Bad news for the library, good news for Ranger, who clearly loves his work. Good boy.